Hi, I'm Steve Allen, and this is the SA4 ferro trap we're developing. Clearly, it's based on the very successful SA2 cat trap, with a few changes to make it more suitable for ferro. We made it double spring for the extra power we need. We've changed the design to make or make it easy to easy to set the spike the power in it. The changes also mean that the trigger system stays very light with only 20 to 30 grams of pressure by the ferret needed to release it. We've also developed a box specifically for the trap. We've got two small feet to keep the trap off the ground and keep it drier. It's a side entry. The also key aspect is that it's a tilt to give us full access to the trap. Now to set, for most people to set the trap, all they would need to do is get up, up above it to get their body weight over the trap, suppress it, and then they can easily put the trigger mechanism in place. And the trap set. For those who not don't have the strength to do that, it's designed for the trap to be wedged over with using a screwdriver and we can go through that. So place it in the little washer that's there, pull the trap over and once again just put the trigger into place and then we can close the box and it's